What's up, everybody? Welcome to the first episode of the Keto Playgrounds Keto Cookbook. This first edition is going to be the keto version of a stone-cold American classic, Keto Beef Stroganoff. But before we light this candle, be sure to visit theketoplayground.com and join the Keto Playground on Facebook. All you got to do is go to theketoplayground.com. It's all right there. Also, some big news you may have heard. It's not keto-related, but to me, it's just as cool. Check it out. I have a podcast. It's on uh, bobbydizzle.com. Uh, it's called the Bobby Dizzle Podcast. And the link to both of those websites are in the description. So check those out. You won't go wrong. Okay, let's talk about this stroganoff. I assume most people have had stroganoff before in the past. Uh, it's kind of a classic. It's like a offshoot of like a macaroni and cheese, a hamburger helper, a homemade version. Uh, and I assume that you know that it's usually served with a big noodle. You know, not big. Eh. It's a substantial noodle. But in this instant to, instance, to use a noodle would negate its ketoness obviously. That's why in this instance, if you desire a uh, noodle with your stroke, I'd like to recommend a spaghetti squash. Other, you know, there are other keto noodles. You can use cabbage like the egg roll in a bowl. But in my experience with this dish, uh, the spaghetti squash is the way to go. If you do go with the spaghetti squash, uh, serving is 100 grams. Uh, it adds five net carbs to your dish and it's 27 calories. If the, uh, if the spaghetti squash, uh, tickles your fancy there also a link to my video on how to make spaghetti squash is in the description down below and will be published to this channel for everybody um, in the coming weeks so uh, check that out but please notice that i said if you desire a noodle with your stroganoff because this stuff is awesome by itself and i mean it stands alone a serving is 200 grams and it is a daggum meal i imagine it would fit everybody's macros pretty well it's a uh, 4.5 net carbs and uh let's see 375 calories for a serving and it's, it's a nice bowl so with that being said you may or may not want to mess with the spaghetti squash as the filler uh up to you dog nevertheless you'll want to cook the sp spaghetti squash and this is the last thing i want to say about spaghetti squash because it's making my head hurt you'll want to cook it 30 to 45 minutes prior to starting start cooking it 35 minutes 30 to 45 minutes prior to cooking the stroganoff because it does take a while to soften up the innards of that squash now without further interruption here's how we make keto beef stroganoff god it's a hard word Heat a pan over medium heat and let it warm. Once it is warm, add three tablespoons olive oil. Once your olive oil is heated up, add uh, two pounds of ground beef, 80% lean, and three or four good pinches of salt and pepper. Brown this until it's done and uh, set aside. In another pan, melt three tablespoons of butter over medium heat. Once that butter is good and melted, toss in five teaspoons of minced garlic and let that sweat until it smells up the kitchen. You're going to love that smell. It's the best air freshener on the planet, as far as I'm concerned. Now, once your garlic's all smelled up your kitchen and you got a nice Italian restaurant going, um, invite some kids over for prom night and tell them it's uh, Olive Garden. No, i just kidding. You're going to want to throw in now a chopped large white onion and a pound of sliced mushrooms. Two or three big salt and pepper pinches will uh, do quite nicely after the mushroom and the uh, onion. So just throw, the, throw that on top of the uh, mushroom and onions there getting tongue-tied over here cook this delicious combo until it's on the burn side of crispy look at me right here right here this is the most important part of that recipe you're going to want to get, be on the burn side of crispy you're going to want that you know that black smoke almost you know like when you're cooking with grease to start almost to start coming up almost to it like a minute short of the smoke alarm going off but the crispier the better i assure you, you will not go wrong you'll thank me later the crispier the better on the mushroom and onions now, once they're good and crispy, and did I mention you're going to want them crispy? Okay, I did. All right. Once you got them good and crispy, turn the heat way down, almost to like 2, 1, 3, 3, 2, 1 on your little oven dial there. Add one cup beef broth, one cup of whole fat sour cream. You don't want that light stuff. If you use light sour cream for this, I will hunt you down. I swear to God. Five teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, however you call it, five teaspoons of it. This could be substituted with some um, white wine vinegar, maybe, or some cooking sherry. Uh, we just use Worcestershire sauce just because a couple of the recipes we were looking at mentioned it, you know, that we designed this off of. But either that, just any kind of good cooking acid. And lastly, eight ounces of cream cheese. Crank your heat way up to medium high now. Leave it here and stir until you get a nice boil and the cream cheese melts. Once your cream cheese is melted, drop the heat again, add the meat, 
and a tablespoon, I mean, a, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon of paprika. Not a tablespoon, teaspoon of paprika. Again, um, not again, but the recipe is in the description if my voiceover, um, you know, kind of screws up because I'm just talking. You know, I'm kind of kind of ad libbing here, just off the cuff, off the cuff. Stir now until it cools a little and the blend mixes well and the sauce thickens. Now scoop out 200 milligram, 200 mil. Now scoop out 200 grams, and thank me later. Remember, it does go well with spaghetti squash. So check out my how-to on how to make the spaghetti squash located in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Go to theketoplayground.com and join the Keto Playground on Facebook. And don't forget to check out my podcast, BobbyDizzle.com, the Bobby Dizzle Podcast. Thanks. Peace.